Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today I'm just coming back to clarify something from a video I did earlier today about BuildBox, and also to talk about some next level trolling. Now don't get me wrong, BuildBox are still insane, their new pricing suck, they just doesn't suck quite as bad as I initially uh, described it. So I wanted to be clear about that one, I did not want to be misrepresenting things on this channel. So what I said earlier on is that they are going for a 70% revenue share, uh, which means that 70% of the money you make using the BuildBox codeless engine goes to build box. Now their wording here was a little bit weird because they didn't say free tier, they went with default commission. And I think that was kind of their being purposefully ambiguous in how this works. But if you look at the pricing structure here, default is the revenue share here. Now if they just said 70% here, 30% there and 10% there, it would have been clear as all could be. But right now it is clear as mud. So I was a little bit off in the way I described the video earlier today. They are not charging you 70% of your earnings on top of $190 subscription. No, they are charging 30% on top of $190 subscription, which by the way, is still insanely greedy. There is no double dipping like this anywhere in the world, but I did need to get that out there. 70% on top of a subscription is crazy, whereas uh, $190 subscription plus 30% is only crazy. It's still crazy, but not quite as crazy. So hopefully just clear the air on that one. Uh, just one of those things to be aware of. But to put into perspective how nuts that pricing is, let's look at some of their competition. So right now, if you want a pro license here, you're looking at $500 a year with no monthly cost and a 10%, or if you want a plus level, $190 a year and 30% there. So let's look at what their competition is like. First off, there's Godot, which is zero and zero. So we're not gonna cover Godot here. Just know the Godot engine is out there and it is free. Uh, there's also, let's say Unity. Unity is one of their biggest competitors, obviously here, and you can get the plus level up for $400 a year. So this is cheaper than their top and it doesn't have any royalties attached. So you could pay $500 plus 10% or you can pay $400. So uh, Unity definitely has them beat on pricing, but then they've got this royalty, that 10% or 30% or even worse on the free tier, 70%. Well, how does that compare against another game engine that does royalty-based fees? Well, let's go take a look at Unreal Engine. With Unreal Engine, your license fee is 5% uh, royalties when you monetize your game or other interactive fiction off the shelf, your lifetime growth of the product exceeds $1 million. So basically, if you make less than a million dollars, your royalties are zero. Otherwise, they jump to 5%. And I think the worst case scenario, say you're using it for something like uh, visualization, that kind of stuff, I think the worst the royalties go up to is like 12%. So let's say at 5%, that 30% royalties is six times, and then they have a Unity type licensing fee on top of that. That is crazy, no matter how you look at it. So we're talking small C crazy instead of big C crazy, but I figured I should clarify that. I got this wrong. I read this chart wrong for sure. That is 100% on me, although their wording is bad, especially when you go here and you look at their, their actual thing here, and it just basically says default revenue share is 70% to BuildBox, 30% to you. There's just an ambiguity there. They could have it's easily just worded this as free tier, 70, uh, pro tier, 30, which is insane, and I'm uh, sorry, uh, plus tier, 30, pro tier, 10%, which again, those last two, you can't double dip. That is obscenely greedy. That It's just mind-nubbingly greedy. So I uh, just wanted to point those things out. I got that a little bit wrong in the other video. So they are small C crazy instead of capital C crazy in their new pricing. By the way, the uh, troll that I used in my image accreditation goes to the original author. Not going to try and say your name, uh, but I just do want to acknowledge that was your work. Um, and here is some epic level trolling to go with that. Uh, Construct, they make a uh, another codeless game engine. Now, they're not a one-to-one -one comparison because Construct is a 2D game engine. I covered Construct. I did a hands-on with them like... I don't know, three, four, five years ago. It's been a long time. I should definitely revisit Construct. Uh, but this is a no-code or low-code game engine. You can create games, run in your browser. Well, what they have done is they've acknowledged the fact that BuildBox recently announced going forward they will be taking revenue share from all games made in BuildBox. Uh, and Construct 3 is basically coming out and saying... Uh, if you purchase BuildBox in the last 12 months, we will give you a six-month Construct 3 personal plan for absolutely free. 
and they've added some 3D into Construct 3. It's just something to be aware of. Uh, so if you are currently a, a BuildBox customer and you think that these new pricing structures or changes are not to your liking, well, Construct is offering themselves as an option out there. So you can see uh, some of the details right here. Uh, so you can get six months free Construct, basically send them an email, uh, send them uh, your Construct username that you have to create and per proof of purchase from the last 12 months. And you can get a free license of Construct 3. So this again is another option. It, it is very 2D focused, uh, but it is another one with a very clean user interface and um, the, the amount of code you have to do to use Construct 3 is pretty minimal. So it's kind of funny to see them uh, piling on or using this opportunity to promote themselves. And I said this in the last video, I'll say it again in this video. There is so much competition out there that going on this double down pricing, it's nuts. It's absolutely utterly and overwhelmingly nuts. They're, they're competing again against um, kind of... Uh, easy focused game engines like what you see here with Construct, then there's the uh, free G develop tool out there, there's Stencil, there's Click Team Fusion. In that space, there is a lot. And then again, there's Unity, there's Unreal, there's Godot, there's um, Default, there's just so many game engine options out there that to try and charge a royalty and a subscription is just mind-boggling to me. I, so it's just one of those things to, to be aware of on this one. I, I do need to update though. I did get this wrong. Default is free. Uh, so only, they're, they're only, again, giant air quotes, only taking 70% of your revenue on the free tier. Whereas on the um, other two licensing tiers on the plus tier, they're only, air quotes, 30 and only 10. So uh, just be aware of that. This default language, this wording, this what they've done, it's obviously they're going for ambiguity for a reason. It tripped me up on that. I wanted to let the record be clear. I don't want to mislead people that BuildBox are being truly horrible. They're just being quite horrible. So I uh, thought I would follow up just to be as clear as possible. That is the deal. And also, again... Uh, some epic level trolling to uh, construct there. And if you are on BuildBox and you're looking for an alternative, well, this opportunity is out there. Just let me know, do you appreciate the troll? Do you appreciate the opportunity? And what do you think, again, of the BuildBox situation? So that is just a quick update. Let you know what I think. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.